the west of Twin Peaks. I grew up in Marijuana Park where I was raised. I moved to Wanita Way next to adjacent to uh, Mount Davidson, the big cross. Moved down to Lakeside, did a stint in Park Merced, uh, and now reside in my wife's family home uh, that she was raised, born and raised in for over 50 years herself. Um, and that's where I raised my four children, sent them to St. Stephen's Elementary, and then St. Ignatius. Uh, I grew up going to St. Finbar, uh, which is right off First Avenue, and I attended St. Ignatius. But the reason I'm here principally tonight is more of a personal nature rather than a life change. Uh, some four years ago, my brother John contracted pancreatic liver cancer. And at that point in time, when I was taken into his treatments, we had a long time to talk about things we would change in the world, about effective government, about the next generation of children and their children. At that point in time, after a successful career as being a stagehand, I worked on motion pictures, I worked on features, uh, feature films, um, I worked at the Opera House, Symphony Hall. He said to me, you're now president of the Board of, of uh, Public Utilities Commission. You're building, working on the biggest public finance water system in over a century. And I said, that's right, John. He goes, you've been successful running your local for a number of years. You've put in training trust. You've done a lot of people, for the, done a lot of things for the people you represent. I said, that's right. He said, do me a favor. He goes, I'm not going to make it. He goes, but for my kids, I want you to do something more for the next generation. And with that, I told him, before he passed away, a week later, I said, I would do whatever I could to do that. So that I was uh, born and raised in the General Motors factory town of Saginaw, Michigan. Um, by a single mother and my grandmother. And we didn't have much money, we had no connections. And what I learned from them, the survival that we used was to get by on our wits, get ahead on our merit, and budget. And so uh, that's been ingrained in me from, uh, from an early age. Um, I won a scholarship to Michigan State University where I uh, uh, majored in journalism. So I entered uh, my first run of public service as a journalist, where I was uh, a watchdog for the government and uh, illuminated uh, truths for the readers and the viewers. I worked in print and documentary film. And uh, it was a really important part of public service, I felt, to, to, to be that, that watchdog. And it's something uh, I ultimately want to use from within City Hall, questioning uh, why things are the way they are, investigating, using that journalistic eye, um, and looking at the budget and other, other facets of city government. My other form of public service, uh, I worked for the American Civil Liberties Union. So again, I uh, was an advocate and a watchdog, uh, held the government accountable for all your constitutional rights. And uh, that was a very satisfying form of public service. And uh, I was fortunate enough uh, uh, from that to win uh, another full scholarship to uh, do graduate work. And I went to the Harvard Kennedy School of Government where I uh, studied public policy and uh, got a master in public administration. So uh, I was there as an older student, they call it mid-career, and so it was a good opportunity to be very focused and, and know what you want to study. And uh, finished that last year and realized my next form of public service uh, would be uh, here on the Board of Supervisors. Originally from New Orleans, I have an MBA from Loyola University there with a concentration in economics. When I was in New Orleans, I started two businesses, and I also taught high school math for three years, and I taught at Loyola University there in their business department for three years. I moved to San Francisco in 1980 because I bought a seat on the Pacific Stock Exchange in order to trade options for my own account. I did that successfully until 1989, at which time I became an arbitrator, and I still am an arbitrator for FINRA. FINRA is the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. We are the compliance branch of the SEC. I had more time on my hands since I wasn't a trader anymore, so I got much more involved in the community. I got elected to the school board at St. Stephen's School, 
I got appointed to the board of directors at the YMCA. I coached youth sports at both of those places. I also did fundraising for those two places. I fundraised for SH where my son went to school and, I, and he is now a police officer. He's a sergeant of the police force. And I'm sure people are tired of me saying this, but I'm very proud of him. He is a police officer who shot the tiger in the zoo. And he, is, he and his partner and two other police officers got the gold medal of valor for that. They were very brave. I don't know if you remember, but it was dusk. It was fear that there were two other tigers on the loose. And the sound they heard behind their back. We were worried it might be a tiger. But at any rate, they subdued the tiger with a hand. I'm also very proud of my daughter who went to SI. We're also fundraised. And she currently works for Salesforce. I was appointed to the Ethics Commission by the Board of Supervisors in 2001. I was president of that. In 2004, I was appointed to the Board of Appeals by Mayor Newsom, and I was twice president of that. I'm a third generation San Franciscan, in which uh, the home that I live in right now, I've been there for 27 years. That's where my children grew up. They are. Uh, however, not in my home anymore. I'm, I'm sad, but it's nice to for them to grow up and move on. The, I'm basically been all my life focused on one thing. That's to improve the lives of children, families, and build communities. That's what I started doing when I was 19 and never turned back. The, I have a bachelor from Cal, civil engineer degree, and I realized that after working for six months as an engineer, I really didn't think that was my passion. So I, I quit my job and went back to school, got my master's in education, and basically never regretted it. I love what I've done, whether it's in the classroom or in the community or running organizations that benefits children and families. The, and this, I tell you this because, again, it's one of these things where you develop a passion young, at a young age, and I was fortunate enough that I was able to pursue it. And one of the things I've done since then has been real consistent around these issues. The, I'm currently president of the school board in San Francisco. I've been on the school board for eight years. 